here I'm going to show you a daikon radish root. As you can see, it's mostly smooth. Uh, I broke off the end digging it up. It would otherwise go quite a bit deeper. You got a few small lateral roots, but nothing like you'd see on a uh, nematode controlling radish. Uh, this radish was primarily bred for the vegetable market in Japan. Uh, they, they like the color because white's a symbol of purity and it's a popular root and we kind of domesticated and made it into a cover crop. One thing that you'll see unlike the uh, nematode controlling radish you don't have any hairs on the back of the, the leaves. They're, they're smooth so livestock will readily graze these and consume them. They like them uh, so there's not going to be uh, any apprehension. You've got the pretty white blossoms as well. That's an easy way to identify it. Typically, th this was planted in the fall, and typically they wouldn't overwinter, but we've had a very mild winter here in Oregon this year. Uh, one thing to note is if it does overwinter, you get these pods starting to form. And it's important to terminate it at this stage because if these pods develop, you're basically gonna have radish seed forever. And it's a fine line between a cover crop and a weed. And this is one that can easily turn into an unwanted weed. So you've got to be a little bit careful and make sure you get it terminated at the right time.